Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. As you all can see by the title today, I am doing a What's In My Bag featuring my Rebecca Minkoff mini map in the color time. It has been a very, 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 very long time since I actually showed this bag on my channel. So I thought that it was a great time to go ahead and do that since I recently carried this bag out on date night. I will say that every time I carry this bag out, it is such an amazing carry. I never have any cons or anything about it. Number one, because when it comes to this leather, y'all, this is a Safiano leather and it is very forgiving. I actually wasted a drink and it was like a red drink on this bag. And I didn't notice that it had got on my bag until we got home and it, of course, dried down. But once I noticed it, I did actually take my leather conditioner and clean it. And it came right out, y'all, with no issues. So, yeah, that's what I mean by, like, this leather is just so, so forgiving. Um, I will come up here closer so that you all can really see the grain, see how grainy this leather is. Yeah, it's very, very durable. Um, I would actually even go as far as saying it is probably indestructible. Here is the back side, and it's very minimum when it comes to branding. So here at the very bottom is a plate that says Rebecca Minkoff on it. And here is the other side. And this bag, y'all, I actually picked up from TJ Maxx five years ago. You all will see that most of the bags that I talk about that I've had in my collection for a while, I did actually obtain them around five years ago because that was the time where I really just started investing in designer bags and really just building my collection. So yeah, this baby has been in my collection for quite some time. Um, as you can see right here, it does have this cute little detail here, which by the way, I do not use whatsoever because it's so like, um, it's very tight, but there's, there is actually an outside pocket. And then the full tab is this very, very long leather tab here, which is what Rebecca Minkoff is known for, but here, as y'all can see, there's a little pocket there. So within this pocket, literally the only thing that I keep in there is the tag that came with the bag. And I'll give you guys that information here in case you are interested. So again, it is the Map Tote Mini in the color Time. I'll stick right that back down in there. And then I love that this bag comes with silver hardware. I think it's a really, really nice touch. It does have this nice top handle here, which I did actually carry this bag as a top handle bag. As you can see here, it, there is hooks on either side so that I would be able to hook the strap on. I do also want to go ahead and pop in a picture of this bag with my outfit. So I was pretty like, I guess, casual in a sense so I did have on just a black uh, button down dress um, and then I did have my shoes matching this bag here and the shoes give me one moment y'all because I have them over here still the shoes that I end up wearing I've had these shoes for years y'all I don't even remember where I got them from I want to say I may have gotten them from um Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank, but the I'll, I'll leave it on the screen, y'all. But these are the shoes that I ended up wearing. And I love the fact that it has this tie in the back. So I was able to just tie it around my ankle. It stayed on with no issues. And yeah, this was a very comfortable shoe, y'all. We did dance to, and I was able to dance in these shoes. And my feet not hurt at all. Um, Now, let's go ahead and get on into this bag, y'all. So just to show y'all at a glance, this is how I have her packed. So I'll go ahead and pull out the main thing that I had in here, which was my Nolita 15. This Nolita is actually in the color, oh, what color is this? I just cannot remember y'all for nothing. Surplus, okay, yes. This is actually in the color surplus. It is not an exact match to the bag, but I think that the two greens complement each other very well. So within here, I just pretty much had um, toilet seat cover just in case I needed that. I had a few feminine products. 
I had my Lacombe Idol Mascara. I had my, I think it's pronounced Lacatane, my hand cream. And then I did have my OPI nail glue. Just in case the nail popped off, I was going to be prepared. <laughs> Luckily though, that did not happen. I had my nail file. And then I had uh, one of my lipstick shades that I had on. I actually had on two uh, different shades. So this one actually is the MAC D for Danger. And so it's a really pretty burgundy shade. And then I had some fragrances in here, which I did not have to use these either. But this one is actually the Valentino Born in Roma. And I believe this one is the same. This one, I don't know. I think I put this one in the back for my husband. It is a uh, male scent. Valentino Umo, I think is how you say that. U-M-O. But yeah, those are the two I had in the bag. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I had in my Nolita. So I just pretty much wanted to put like small things that I didn't want to have like just rummaging around in the bag in here. So that's what I have in here. And then moving on to the next thing, I did have a wet one, which I could have probably put that in the Nolita. I did bring a mask just in case, but I did not have to use that. We were kind of in like a secluded area, um, and we didn't really have anyone just up close on us, so that worked out great. I did also have my keys in here, which I did not need these because... Or actually, you know what? I take that back. Yes, I did. I did need these to get into the house because my husband, he drove, y'all. But for some reason, he didn't have his house keys with him, which I could not understand. So I'm glad that I brought my keys with me. Um, I had my house key in here as well as my car key. And this is my Louis Vuitton Sit Spring key holder. And I did just put this little charm here, y'all, just to kind of make it cute, jazz it up. I actually purchased this charm from Shein, so I'll definitely link it below if it's still available, but I think it's really, really cute, y'all. Super, super cute. All right, and then the next thing that I had in the bag is something that was supposed to have been in my Nolita, but I think that when I topped off, I must have just threw it back in the bag, but this is the other shade that I was wearing, so this is MAC in the uh, Ruby Red. I think it's what it's called. Ruby Woo. And I love this shade. Again, I do want to shout out Mom Ambition because she is the one that... Um, Mom Ambition as well as Mia Woo. They both actually recommended the shade to me a couple of years ago. And I have really just been enjoying that very, very much. And then I did have my little miniature deodorant with me. We were dancing and everything. And if I started to sweat, I was going to be prepared. So this is actually the Secret Outlet Sweat and Odor. And surprisingly, y'all, I did not have to use that. And I think that I have this next item to thank for that. And that is my little fan, y'all. So let me tell y'all. Oh, I just noticed I wasted something on this. I need to wipe that off. Huh. Okay. It was a crazy night, okay? So anyways... Moving on, this fan right here came in handy. The restaurant that we went to ended up having issues with their AC and the AC just completely stopped working. So everybody in the building was pretty much using their menu to actually fan themselves. But I did not have to do that because I had this here. And I'll actually pop in a picture uh, that my husband and I took. And as y'all can see, I have my fan in hand and it is going. I used this most of the night and we were there for a good two hours y'all and I have not charged this thing up and look it is still still good yeah this thing is so bomb it is so bomb so I am actually going to make sure I link this for you below if you do not have a fan um in your bag then you definitely need to get one and you need this one because it is just so good it actually even comes with a flashlight on the bottom of it too and I'm going to keep this out because I need to wipe this down because I don't know what I spilled on that all right so <laughs> moving on uh the next thing that I had in the bag is another wet one and then 
I had my little mirror, which I want to shout out Miss Toya because I had my eye on this here mirror and I completely forgot about it, right? She actually sent me a link telling me that this mirror had become available again. So, of course, I had to go ahead and pick it up, y'all. And I just love this thing. Like, it is just so cute. And it's so dainty. Like, I love pulling this out at the dinner table and just reapplying my lipstick. Like, you can tell me nothing. <laughs> But yes, I'm definitely going to link this for y'all below. Hopefully, it is still available. And it's just a perfect little mirror. All right. So then, next up, y'all, I had a pack of bobby pins. So I did actually wear my hair pinned up. And I did bring these bobby pins just in case I sweated my hair out and things got crazy and bobby pins started flying. I wanted to make sure to have backup. So, yeah, I did just throw that into the bag. And I'll give you guys a glance here. I just have some high chews at the bottom. So I'll just pull those on out. And that's pretty much everything that I had in the main compartment. So as you all can see, I was able to fit everything that I needed to carry out with me. And I'm so proud of myself because usually when I pack my, my bag, I always end up forgetting something. But this go around, y'all, I didn't forget anything. Like, I literally had everything that I would have needed while out. Um, this bag does come with a slip pocket in the back. And in the slip pocket, I just had my Try Not Gum there. And I think that is everything, yeah, everything that I had in the bag. This bag does come with a snap closure, as you can see, too. And I did actually utilize a snap closure as well, especially when we got up to dance. I did want to make sure that the bag was secure in that sense. But, yeah, it all worked out great, y'all. Again, I absolutely love this bag. I enjoyed the carry. I cannot wait to carry it again. And that is that, y'all. That pretty much concludes this video. I do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.